Hey guys, I'm Amarot and let's talk about a little bit more advanced stuff about MPQs. So let's move to our MPQ editor and we will create a new MPQ just to have some test file. And we will insert some data into it. And I would like to talk about this list file now. You can extract your list file or drag it out if you have only one file you can drag it out always and you can all you can open that list file in in your notepad or whatever else and as you can see it contains whole list of files in your mpq uh, what is it good for well first of all you can use it for opening uh, an MPQ without list file. You can use this fuck it up script to remove a list file from your MPQ and now it lacks a list file. When a list file isn't in your MPQ, uh, MPQ editor can't really identify files in it. So they are like this. They're just file and some number dot xxx and that's all. You can't really modify this uh, MPQ, you can't steal files from it and so on. So this uh, fuck it up script can be used for protecting your patch from stealing, from being stolen. However, uh, if anyone has your list file from that patch, you can use it for opening the patch. So let's try it out. You'll open an MPQ editor, go to file menu, open MPQs with options. Now we will select this protected mpq we will select this additional list file and we will use list file we have extracted here uh, and now as you can see i can open that file i can open that mpq and get to its files and i can modify them or steal them extract them whatever i would like there is no list file here but i can still open it because i have it in that list file here uh, obviously, if you have uh, some sort of private server and you have your patches and you send them to players without list files, they won't write those list files, so they won't be able to open those patches. So this is a way of protecting your files, basically. However, it isn't really uh, that safe, because if anyone has this list file, he can open it. And uh, if you are using uh, uh, some Blizz-like files, for example, let's say that you just modify some blizz like map or you for example modify just some uh, just uh, some uh, blizz like models or some blizz like textures you will have models textures and another different uh, files with the same names in the same directories as are in blizz like mpqs so what can players do they can take blizz like list files from Blizz like MPQs, and they can use those list files to open your uh, encrypted file. So, how to avoid this? Uh, there's only one way, basically, and that's no, simply not using Blizz like files at all. Create a custom map. Don't edit Blizz like map. Create a new one. Uh, create your own models, or just take Blizz like models. And rename them so they have a different name and uh, by doing so uh, you will make list file useless let's just uh, let's just rename for example let's say that we have renamed our map same as any two ah, sorry I can't rename it so okay whatever I will just show you something a little bit different let's add another files into it let's add those WTF files here so now we've got WTF and word files here. We'll fuck this up. And when we attempt to open this MPQ, it will manage to open only word files but it failed to open WTF files because those WTF files I have added later aren't really present in this list file. As you can see, there are no WTF files. I've 
uh, extracted this list file before I have inserted those WTF files there. So uh, if you have any sort of files which aren't in general in blizz like list files, those files are really quite safe. You can still uh, grab some uh, file which isn't identified, you can extract it, you can open it in let's say HXD and you can get its uh, content or something like that but you won't really do something like this with, with ADTs or with WDT especially if there are hundreds or even thousands of unknown files. So really try to uh, use only custom content or use as much custom content as possible because that's uh, the only content which is actually at least somewhat safe and it isn't really completely safe nothing is really safe so is there a way of protecting your mpqs from being stolen there is a way how to uh, make it really hard nearly impossible but there is no way how to make it entirely impossible keep this in mind please uh, just another small note this list file can be used for filtering so as you have seen already uh, it is managed to open only files which are in my list file so if you have any sort of list file let's say you've got some much longer list file let's say that you've got this one this is quite a big list file let's open it and uh, now you can see paths to all files in that mpq uh, you can use any kind of script uh, i have created uh, an application for that that's in amarats tools this amarats toolkit can do that by the way and uh, you can use any script for filtering this for deleting all lines where for example wmo extension is or whatever so you can filter your mp your list file and then you can use that filter at list file as a filter for opening just some files from uh, from uh, an mpq which doesn't have list file in it so you can use that for some uh, task i will show you how to use it properly in some another video probably and the last thing i would like to talk about is merged mode Merge mode is something MPQ editor can do. It can open multiple MPQs at once, basically. So let's get to our MGB folder, for example. We all want to open MPQs with options, and we can open multiple MPQs at once. This merged mode will open all those MPQs at once, and if any files are the same in multiple MPQs, the last version will be used. So it opens MPQs in the same way as they are opened by game client. What is this good for? It's good for getting up to date files. You can just quickly access any folder in system and get your files and they will be up to date. You can use it, for example, on MGB files or NUS or RURU files or whatever to get db files client folder this db files client folder contains dbcs and these are blizz like dbcs unedited dbcs i have also added uh, my blizz like dbcs here these are ngb dbcs if you want to use another than ngb dbcs you may want to extract your own blizz like dbcs from your locate folder in your data folder by using this merge mode so you just open those MPQs in merge mode. Now you can just select what you want, Control E, and extract files. So that was merge mode, another quite nice feature MPQ editor has, and that's pretty much it. I really can't think of anything else what I would like to show you in MPQ editor. So these were some advanced tips and tricks about MPQ editor and what it can do, what it can't do. So thanks for watching, I hope this was useful for you, I'll catch you next time, take care and happy modding guys!